everyone welcome back to my DIY home I'm Liz and in today's video I'm going to show you how I decorated my hutch in this farmhouse theme for Christmas I love the way it turned out I've never done it like this before and I'm so excited to share with you how this turned out and how it looks in my dining room so if you want to see how I decorated my hutch just keep watching First thing I'm going to do is take out this farmhouse sign. If you'd like to see how I made that sign, I will leave a link here. And then I'm going to put up this farm fresh Christmas tree sign. I made it using this stencil. This stencil was sent to me by the Stencil Smiths and their website is amazing. They have so many different stencils to choose from and I will leave a link below if you're interested. So the first thing I did was cut a board that was the size of my stencil a little bit farther. And then I'm gonna come in with this Rust-Oleum wood stain that I got from Hobby Lobby. And when I stain things, I'm just going to use like a Dollar Tree cheap brush that I'm not going to hold on to. And I'm just going to smooth on the stain and then I'll use a rag to wipe it off so that you can see a little bit of the wood grain. And I'll do that with the whole stencil as well as the edges. Now I do have two boards out because I ended up making two of the same signs. From there, just lay your stencil in the middle of your board. And then I used a little bit of scotch tape to hold it in place so it wouldn't move when I was stenciling. And then I'm coming in with Waverly chalk paint and a foam brush. My one tip for stenciling would be to not use too much paint. You're better to use two thin layers of paint than coming in with a thick glob of paint because the paint will seep underneath. So just take your time and do a little bit of paint and you're just going to dab the paint in. So I ended up doing that for all the letters. With the trees, I kind of left the paint a little bit speckledy because I wanted it to look more worn. So I didn't fill it in as well as I did with the lettering. Once I completely covered it, I went back in and I did a second coat on the whole entire sign. And then my favorite part is taking the stencil off and I'm so happy with the way this turned out. And then the last thing you need to do is there are some lines connecting the stencil. Just take a detail brush and fill it in so that those lines aren't there anymore. And then I'm just going to put it up on the right side of my hutch. From there, I'm adding in this reindeer that I got on clearance last year. Then I'm gonna put in this bucket that I've had for years, it's my grandmother's. So next, I'm going to put these, I picked up at Hobby Lobby a few years ago, and I'm just going to pay, place them facing out from one another. Next, I decided I wanted to make a wreath in that container, but I didn't want to pay the price of a wreath. So I found these picks for $3.99 and I got them 50% off. So I spent $4 for the two of them. And I'm just going to be twisting these up and moving the branches so that it forms into a shape of a wreath. This is a great idea if you're not wanting to spend, you know, 20 bucks to make a wreath. And I just twisted it around until it was the way that I thought it looked nice. And I kind of had to work with it a little bit. And I twisted some of the branches around the cords to hold it in place. Since it's going to be hanging up, I decided to use a little bit of scotch tape to hold it in place. And I think it looks great for a couple of dollars. On the next shelf down, I'm using this container with some Dollar Tree lights that I picked up. These light up. This is a Mary sign that I got at Target last year and then a basket that I picked up at the thrift store for super cheap. 
I have these two trees that were from the Target dollar spot, and then I also have these random bells that I'm gonna be putting throughout the hutch. I picked up this Joy sign from Hobby Lobby this year, and then also these white trees are from Target dollar spot as well. I have these all over my house. Made this by wrapping burlap around a canvas and using a Sharpie to fill in the F. And then I'm just place another tree and ornaments. On my bottom shelf, I'm going to come in with this that I got from Target Dollar Spot last year, as well as another bell and a sign from the Target Dollar Spot. And then this is just a piece that I had in my home and another bell. And then this reindeer I've had for so many years. It just takes some little candles in there. And so I'm just gonna place those in. Now I decided I wanted a little bit of greenery, but I didn't want anything big. So I picked this up from Hobby Lobby. It was $3.99, 50% off. So what I'm gonna do is just cut off these sprigs and I'm gonna place them in the decor. I just wanted it to look very sparse and just have a few of these sticking out. So I found this was a great idea. I ended up doing this all over my home. So those you can find in the pick aisle if you're looking for them at Hobby Lobby. And then here is another look. It I hope you guys liked seeing how I decorated my hutch for Christmas. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I post several DIY tutorials each week and I'd love to have you. If you're interested in making the sign that I made, I'll leave a link below to where you can get that stencil. And I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!